I don't, and I certainly don't have a problem with my skin color or people that look like me. I have a problem with people that embrace a culture that is killing us. I'm, I'm just sad even talking about this. Uh, when I wrote about it this morning, I was sad. When I looked at that video of Jay Fizzle with all his baby mamas bragging about having 22 kids, talking about let's do a TV show with a guy that has 30 kids, and there's no objection. There's no real objection to this. And then we look at Memphis, and I see a 19-year-old kid videotaping himself driving around Memphis, shooting and killing people. You, you, when you destroy the family, when you destroy the family, you're destroying everything. And that's what we've done. We can't sit around and laugh about a man that has 22 kids and 15, 16 baby mamas, and he's doing interviews and it's being celebrated. We talked about Nick Cannon last week. We talked about it several times on this show. But it's like this whole, when Black Lives Matter and their whole, we're going to destroy the nuclear family. This is satanic. And, and again, I'm trying to, I, I'm not saying that loosely. I'm saying it's in complete objection to God's design. And we're wondering why our fruit is so bad. Why our kids are running wild in the street, videotaping themselves, killing people on Facebook Live. And we want to talk about Provo, Utah. And, and we want to demonize little Mormon kids in Provo, Utah. As if they're the problem. And what happened to Rachel Richardson is the problem. And again, I don't believe it happened, but even if it did, it ain't the problem. An ignorant white or black person calling me the N-word ain't the problem. That man sitting on camera with 15, 16, 17 baby mamas, that's the problem. We need to address it. This culture that has embraced it and celebrated it, that's the problem. I don't, I, I say this in all, I don't know, I don't personally know any white people that have a problem with black people over skin color. I really don't at this, I used to when I was younger, but in 2022, I, I don't, that's not the problem. I don't, and I certainly don't have a problem with my skin color or people that look like me. I have a problem with people that embrace a culture that is killing us. That's the problem.